All right, get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're bringing the ladies to the cage now. Introducing our first warrior, coming to the cage, fighting out of the blue corner, Maria Akapova. And here we go. As Carlo said, we're bringing the ladies into the cage for the first time in Brave Combat Federation history. This is going to be in the women's flyweight division as Maria Agapova, 2-0, fighting out of the Akma Fight Club. Pavlodar, Kazakhstan, huge prospect, actually the biggest prospect in all of Kazakhstan's women's MMA, and she's undefeated as a pro. She's coming in here to prove a point. Just a couple years ago, she would not have had these opportunities. Women's MMA was essentially non-existent. Sure. Now not only are they fighting, they're fighting for Brave. What an incredible opportunity. No, it is. It, it is just a, a fantastic opportunity for Agapova. She has the height, the reach, and a big, big way in this matchup. Very interested to see if she can use that to her advantage, if she can establish her jab, or if that's gonna get thrown out the window once this thing gets started. So often it does. It really does. Uh, I think Mike Tyson had the great saying, everybody has a plan until they get punched in the face. So we'll see how Maria does. Changing her level, keeping a little bit lower, throwing that jab straight out and straight in, if, if that's her game plan, if she wants to use her reach, which I always recommend taller fighters to do. Me, I had T-Rex arms. I was always fighting <laughs> my way through, and then I was met with elbows, knees, takedowns, ground game. Ah, what a life. The good old days. <laughs> the good old days, Nate. Now I'm cage side and brave. And I'm, I'm, I'm much, no matter how bad of a job I do tonight, I know most likely I'm not going to the hospital. Not too bad. The night is still young, like you said before. <laughs> let's send it up to Carlos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and let's welcome her opponent to the cage. Put your hands together for Yulia Litvinseva. <laughs> So like you said, she may have to take a few shots to do it, but uh, she's very experienced as a grappler. She can close the distance. She may have a, have a good time here tonight. And that's, that's great. I always say either be taller than all your opponents or shorter than all your opponents so you can have one game plan, perfect it, and stick to it. She's a grappler. She's shorter. She's going to come inside, get that takedown, and work her game. Taking a look at the tail of the tape here, you see the age difference, very, very young, only 20 years old is Agapova, as it is Kazakhstan, taking down Russia. And as they say, one of those O's has to go in this fight. Somebody will be taking an L most likely. As we see the ladies throw down inside the Brave Combat Federation cage. They are both inside the cage. Let's send it up to the wonderful Carlos Kramer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready because we are making history right now. We have the first ladies fight in the history of Brave Combat Federation coming for you right now. Introducing first, your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This lady is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of two wins and no losses. She stands 1.73 centimeters tall and weighs already 56.7 kilograms. Representing Akma Jim and fighting out of Pavlodar, Kazakhstan. Put your hands together for Maria Agapova. And introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This lady is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of one win and no losses. She stands. 1.56 centimeters tall and weighs already 56.2 kilograms. Representing Zilkin Fight Team and fighting out of Vladivostok, Russia. Give it up for Yulia Killer Litvinseva. Your referee is Axel Van Kimmelin. Your referee, Axel Van Kamada. 
and it is time to get the ladies in here throwing down. I'm excited for this one. History being made. Agapova fighting with the rash guard. Living Seva without the rash guard. Now let's get the party started. Yes, yeah, so Maria head to toe in rash guard and the pants. That could be detrimental fighting a grappler. It makes it a lot easier to grab and twist things. Not a good thing to get twisted up. Uh, and Yulia's working her, her clinch game right off the bat, but Maria's throwing those knees and, and really taking away that takedown. Ah. Livinseva tries to get the throw, and she ends up on the bottom and full mount. Oh, my goodness, Agapova is pounding her out, Nate. And Yulia, uh, yeah, I was just going to say, you've got to let go of that. If you're mounted, you need to work the mount escape, not hold your opponent. They're not going anywhere if you hold on to them. As you can see, our official is taking a good look. And she has to get, she has to stop holding. What's she doing? That's going to be the end of the fight. It's over. Agapova wins. Wow. Yulia just taking too many shots from the mounted position. But look at that. The show of respect. Maria immediately gets down to wish her opponent well. Wow. I'll tell you what. What a fight right there as Agapova gets the W in this one. Folks, we'll be right back with your official decision. Keep it right here with Brave. And welcome back to Almighty Kazakhstan. We have our official decision here in just a second, but let's take a look at the replay on this fight between these two ladies throwing down inside the Brave cage. If we can get that replay, take a look at that beautiful beam footage. They always say, uh, it, it, be careful what you wish for, you just may get it. We knew Yulia wanted to go down to the ground. So desperate for that takedown, ends up being mounted as we see here. And she just wouldn't let go. I mean, rookie mistake, like you said. You cannot escape when you're holding somebody tightly to you. Push okay. away. Well, I'll tell you, training with that Akma Fight Club, training out of Chechnya, Agapova looked fantastic. Let's go up to Carlos Kramer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at 53 seconds of the very first round, winning by technical knockout due to strikes, Maria Agapova! What a win for Maria Agapova. It looked fantastic in everything, right? And finished it quickly. A quick night of work for that young lady celebrating in Kazakhstan. It doesn't get much better than that. We talked about Maria's reach and, and wondered if she'd get a chance to use it. Didn't need to. Got taken down immediately into the mount. Here's that, that takedown by Yulia. Just looking. Quite, couldn't quite turn the corner there and get that takedown. Exactly, and that's the danger with that takedown. You have to twist. If you don't twist, you end up mounted. 100%. Well, that was the end of the night for young Yulia.